I had an Asian client. He was about five foot six, okay, very short, maybe about up to here. And he had an accent. He had moved from China, came straight over. He didn't even speak English when he arrived to America. The girls, you know, couldn't understand him and he was Asian and all this stuff in a, in a Western culture that's mostly white. And he learned English, okay, he manned up, hit the gym, got a fashion consultant, had a cool haircut, had cool clothes, okay, and now that guy's been with over 300 different chicks. Okay, so he's running circles around a lot of these guys that look like male models or that are tall or whatever, just because he learned the correct pickup and seduction techniques, okay, and he had all odds against him. He was at a significant disadvantage from the get-go. Hey everybody, it's John Anthony from John Anthony Lifestyle and today we are going to talk about looks, money, and status and how much they matter in the dating and relationship and seduction game. I want to encourage you guys to press the like button below, make sure you hit subscribe and also press the notification bell. That will give you notifications of my new videos Sunday through Thursday and also updates when I'm having YouTube lives which will be every Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Okay. Join the John Anthony family. Subscribe now, 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 now. So a lot of companies out there that are teaching seduction and dating and this kind of advice, they tell you that looks, money, and status don't matter. They say that everyone's on an equal playing field. Okay, this is false. This is bullshit marketing that basically allows guys to be slobs, be incredibly unattractive, and not be taking care of themselves and makes them think they have some big chance with these hot girls, okay? So make sure you check out my video, which we will link to up in the corner here, on hygiene and grooming 101. So some basics that are covered in that video, you should not be dressing like shit. you should not have a haircut, okay? You shouldn't have facial hair that's all out of control, okay, and not groomed well. You should be wearing deodorant, okay? So. My answer on the looks money status thing, and this is the correct answer as I will back up and support, is that yes, they matter, but only to a certain extent. Okay, it's usually like a threshold thing. What do I mean by that? Don't be too overweight. Don't be too skinny. Don't be like rail thin with like pencil thin arms, okay? Don't be wearing Walmart clothing. Don't be walking around without deodorant and smelling bad, okay? Take care of your, your facial hair, take care of basic things about yourself, okay? That's where the looks, things that you can have in, in your control, that's where they come in. Regarding the money part of the equation, just don't be a broke loser, all right? No chick wants to be dating a dude that is working for minimum wage or that doesn't have a job, is unemployed, and can't pay for bills or can't pay for anything that she could do with him, right? Like if you go on a date and the chick needs to spot you because you're broke, that's a big problem. So first off, stop caring about and blaming your ethnicity or your height and different things like this that are out of your control, okay? Yes, taller guys have an advantage. I'm six foot four, 193 centimeters. Yes, that plays as an advantage, okay? You can't change your height. Being white can have a certain advantage in different cultures, okay? But I have plenty of students that have been Asian or have been Indian and that have gotten incredible results, okay? Even guys that are short and ethnic and guys that have accents, all this stuff, okay? A lot of them are in the 200 to 300 count range, guys that I've coached five or six years ago. It's not out of your power to still optimize what you can, okay? So there's something called sexual market value. Now, sexual market value, or SMV, is what you bring to the table in terms of what you're offering to the girl, okay? From a sexual market standpoint, okay? So. If you happen to be short or you happen to be ethnic, you can still hit the gym, you can still have a nice fashion sense, you can still dress well. But of course, looks matter, okay? If you look at Tinder, for instance, you can do this as an experiment. If you have like a male model with male model pictures from some dude's Instagram that's really a model, you're gonna be getting matches like crazy, okay? Whereas if you put some fat slob as your profile, you're probably not gonna get any matches, but if you do, they're gonna be with unattractive girls. One big thing you can do with online dating apps is you can have professional pictures taken, okay? So you can have a professional photographer with a pro camera, pro lighting, and then after the fact, you can have Photoshop applied so that you can even out facial shading, brighten your teeth, brighten your eyes, okay? And you can look more aesthetically pleasing. So this goes a long way, okay? Even if you happen to be a five or a six out of 10, 
you can have nice pictures being taken by a professional and you can have Photoshop applied after so it can boost you up into like the eight range or eight and a half. Okay, so no matter how bad you might have it on the surface, you can still boost these things and, and optimize. So I'm, my whole, the lesson here, my whole philosophy is that you can optimize what you have. Okay, we're all given certain heights and ethnicities and different things. Optimize what you can and then don't worry about it. Okay, so you should be trying to do well in business regardless of whether or not that's getting you girls. Okay, you should be trying to do well with your status, with having a nice social circle and good connections and things like this, regardless of its impact on getting girls. And with your looks, you should see a fashion stylist, have her pick out new clothes that fit your style. You should be going to the gym regularly so that you are in good shape, okay? And from there, don't worry about it, okay? Now, here's the problem that a lot of guys fall into. There's whole forums devoted to this looks thing, and it's usually incredibly unproductive. What happens is guys will join this Facebook group or such and such forum that's really pushing the whole like looks is like the whole story thing, okay? Like game doesn't exist, it's all looks. And what you have in those forums and in those groups is a whole bunch of people just criticizing each other, okay? You have a whole bunch of guys saying, oh, look at that guy with his weak jawline, look at that guy with his beta, characteristics or whatever the way he looks like this guy if he looked like a model he'd be getting the girls and, and they place all so much emphasis on this so the guys start feeling bad about themselves they start being very 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 critical of themselves and they start thinking that they're like handicapped or at a huge disadvantage instead the correct mindset is that you should just be trying to optimize what you can and then let the chips fall where they may okay it's much more important to learn correct game and correct pickup and seduction techniques than it is to be obsessed with, you know, looking like a model or trying to look like, you know, some perfect 10 guy, okay? Many of us will never look like a 10. I, of course, don't myself, and I've slept over a thousand women, lots of them extremely beautiful. And it's more about how you carry yourself, okay? You should be carrying yourself with confidence. And as long as you are not below these threshold things, like if I was like very overweight, or I was, you know, dressing terribly, or I had like a terrible, terrible haircut, certain things like this, or if I was a broke loser, like these things are gonna have an impact on the girl because you are not at a requisite minimal threshold. So make sure you are constantly striving to better yourself at business, to make more money, okay, to have more freedom where you're making your own hours and you don't have a boss. Make sure that you are going with a fashion stylist, make sure that you are going to the gym, make sure that you are getting recommendations from other hot women about your particular look and your particular style. And from there, let things be how they are, okay? You don't need to obsess over, well, I wish I was, if I was tall, like all my problems would be solved, or if only I was white, all my problems would be solved. I could give you example after example after example of short clients, of ethnic clients, of clients with accents that were able to start sleeping with a large number of girls, okay? Once they got out of their own way, and once they got past that stuff mentally, okay? One example is, I had an Asian client, he was about five foot six, okay, very short, maybe about up to here, and he had an accent, he had moved from China, came straight over, he didn't even speak English when he arrived to America. The girls, you know, couldn't understand him, and he was Asian and all this stuff in a, in a Western culture that's mostly white, and he learned English, okay, he manned up, hit the gym, got a fashion consultant, had a cool haircut, had cool clothes, okay? And now that guy's been with over 300 different chicks, okay? So he's running circles around a lot of these guys that look like male models or that are tall or whatever, just because he learned the correct pickup and seduction techniques, okay? And he had all odds against him. He was at a significant disadvantage from the get-go. So don't sell yourself short, okay? And don't stop working on yourself by buying into the lies that other dating companies and dating coaches are telling you when they say that looks don't matter, okay? No, you can't change your race or your height, but you can optimize what you have in your control. And you should be doing those things just to better yourself as a man, okay? The point of all this is you should be bettering yourself in every area of your, of your life, and it's not just to get more chicks or hotter chicks. You should be doing these things so that you can just have a more fulfilling, enriching life. Thank you very much for tuning in. I wanna encourage you guys to press the like button below. Make sure you hit subscribe and also press the notification bell. That'll give you notifications of my new videos Sunday through Thursday and also updates when I'm having YouTube Lives, which will be every Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, okay? Thank you guys for tuning in. Till next time, this is John Anthony, 
Stop listening to the dating coaches saying that looks, money, status don't matter. It's bullshit. Optimize what you can and go from there. Okay? Thank you guys. Take care.